Hi, how you doing there, folks? I'm making this video about this article that was in the New York Post yesterday. MTA service cuts up ahead. Wait right here. Okay. Well, it's in the New York Post, page 28, Tuesday, December 8, 2009. Okay, it says MTA service cuts up ahead. New York State came up 200 million dollars short of its payroll tax projection for 2009 and that could lead to MTA service cuts as early as next year. But there won't be a fair hike in 2010, number one already scheduled for 2011. Since Governor Patterson cut $143 million from its budget this year, the MTA has to make up $343 million by the end of next year. Okay folks. There shouldn't be any service cuts. All that's going to do is make it more inconvenient for the people that ride these buses and subways. Buses that are already over, over, overcrowded or crowded, number one. Number two, it's going to lead to no service during, during, late, during certain hours or having to wait much longer. Trains are already overcrowded we could barely get a seat. It's going to be almost impossible, folks. Which would mean having to stand all the way from the midsection of Brooklyn all the way to Manhattan. And this is absolutely, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is what I think should be done. Number one, what we should do is we should call Governor Patterson's office. We should bombard him with phone calls. Along with some man shout in silver, the Senate Majority Leader, and tell them, no, do not approve cutting $143 million from the MTA's budget. It's absolutely, it's absolutely deplorable. And on top of that, they're saying that $200 million, the payroll tax projection is going to be $200 million short, which means at the end of next year, they're going to be short $343 million. Now, if worse comes to worse, there shouldn't be any service cuts. This is what I think should be done, folks. Okay, the MTA needs $343 million. Make it, 400, make it $400 million. Why should there be service cuts? What there should be is $57 million in service increases, not cuts. Number one. Number two, what there should be done is... The MTA is going to have to come up for money for raises. Now, like I said, those raises that were approved for the MTA workers, absolutely ridiculous, 13% in three years. This, this is what it should be. I agree they should get something because there has been there has been increases in inflation and they, they do make more than most of the people they actually ride these buses and subways. This is what I think sh there should be. What there should be is 1%. They should get, they should get a 1% raise in the next two years. 3%. Okay. So that you did that that you that you gotta figure there is gonna cost that's gonna cost about about three million dollars. Okay. And then on top of that, they're say talking about a fear increase in two thousand eleven. So so there has so there's so, so there's no need for a fear increase in two thousand eleven. Why not, why not just raise fares next year to have all this money coming in, you know, to cover the, to cover these, these projections of money where it'll be short, plus money to make $57 million in service increases, money for the raise, raises, which should be no more than 1%. Why not have a fare increase as early as next year? You know, this is what I here's here's get, get, just listen to this folks. Okay, I'm weekly 
A weekly unlimited use metro cards will go up six dollars. Monthly unlimited use metro cards will go up three dollars. The base fare will go up from two twenty five to two fifty, and then with the service increases, this is what this is what I think should be done. Now, as, as you know, folks, those of you like me that ride the subways during the overnight hours, it's twenty minutes apart, and you could sometimes end up waiting twenty minutes, and then have to wait twenty minutes again for the connection. Here's my idea. Take five dollars off that off that frequency time in between in between subway trains and make it fifteen minutes apart. And on buses that run during the overnight hours, instead of the ones where it's one hour apart, make it a half hour apart. Another idea another idea is they add if they add two Two bus routes, two bus routes in Manhattan, and two bus routes in Brooklyn. Okay, and I mentioned in another in another video where I think where I think service should be increased, but I'll talk about it right now. As you know, those that ride the B11, that route that route is a, is a very crowded route. Okay, my idea is to have another bus route added that's serving that same general area but it will, and it will make service much more convenient and it would service it would service the 45th street station on the N line and the uh, 45th street station on the D line along with along with here's how it would go get a load of this folks like to be 11 like to be 11 the service would start over at Luther and Medical Center. It will come, it will come down. It will come down First Avenue to First Avenue to Forty Fifth Street or Forty Forty Fourth Street rather. It will go down Forty Fourth Street from First Avenue in Brooklyn. To McDonald, to McDonald Avenue and 44th Street. At McDonald Avenue, would make there would be a there would be a right hand turn to 47th Street. At 47th Street, it would go it would, it would go from 47th Street to Foster Avenue, Foster Avenue to Coney Island Avenue. And then it would go down Foster, and then from, from Coney Island Avenue, it would go to the Newkirk, Newkirk subway station on the, on the Q line. Hmm? Okay, another idea is for the Lower East Side. Now, as you know, there used to be bus service down Grand Street. That was cut. Okay, here's my idea. Have a new bus route added that goes down Grand Street from the FDR Drive all the way down Grand Street to 6th Avenue. At 6th Avenue there would be a there would be a right hand turn and then it would go down 6th Avenue all the way all the way to Columbus Circle. All right, and then two more bus routes should be added. There should be also be there should be a there should be Crosstown bus service added in Manhattan, and it would run that would service 29th Street and 28th Street from the FDR Drive all the way to all the way to 11th Avenue, 29th to 28th Street. And that would take a lot of overcrowding off the M23 and off the M34. Alright. Alright, and I think this would be I think this would be a, this would be a great idea. Will we to will we to increase ridership and in two thousand eleven there won't have to be a, there won't have to be a fare increase folks. And any money any any money from any 